Run, baby, run. Don't ever look back. Hey, it was Salame, Baba Clopapier, it was Salame, Zinzalbim, it was Salame, hey, hey, hey. Hi guys, my name is Indigo and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new here. I finally did something different from a cut crease. Wow, que original. Honestly, I wasn't even gonna film today, it's not my filming day, but I was in the middle of doing my makeup and then I remembered. I can embarrass myself. So that is exactly what we're doing today because I do not feel like filming a makeup tutorial. Some of you guys know that I am an ever-changing creature. I never look the same for longer than like three seconds. So I'm gonna share with you guys some very deeply personable and very very embarrassing pictures of me because I will be the one to expose myself. Okay, nobody else can expose me except for me, all right? So I'm gonna put the images right here so you guys can laugh, screenshot, don't screenshot, don't do it. Judge, you know, the whole thing will be right here in this general vicinity. We're gonna start all the way on July 8th, 2015. <laughs> Actually, no, I have an older picture than this one. Hold up, this one. Oh my god. I was 13 here, but I literally look six. Yes, I was getting slapped in this picture. Isn't that amazing? Can we just talk about how healthy my hair was? I remember my girlfriends used to play with my hair all the time. They would never leave it alone. But luckily, I really, at that time at least, I really liked having my hair played with. Now I don't. Once I style it, it's done. You don't touch it. I don't touch it. If you touch it, we're throwing hands. But before, I really enjoyed it. My skin was clear. I was happy. I had healthy hair. Honestly, I looked young. I rate this era a 10 out of 10, iconic, physically, because I was a nerd and I had like zero friends back then, so we'll rate that a 6 out of 10 mentally. Next is the picture that I was going to show you guys before. So this is when I started turning emo because I was obsessed with emo culture and honestly, I still am. I mean, honestly, who was surprised? I paint my nails black and I wear black every single day. Shocker. But um, yeah, this was a mess. It's not as messy as it gets. Oh, no, 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 no. It gets worse. I actually remember this picture because this picture was the first selfie I ever took in my life. And I remember taking it was so awkward because I didn't know what to do. That was before like the front camera was a thing. So you'd have to hold your phone like this and just be like, that was back when like that face was like hipster and cool and like emo and raw girl. This is the same era as the last one, just like a year after. My skin was clear, so we'll rate this like a 7 out of 10. 10? 7 out of 10 overall. This is still 2015. Okay, so we're getting like kind of happier around here. Who lied? This was before I fully went emo, but I was like trying to like transition into it, right? I am naked. But look at that. I still had my six pack. I've had my six pack since I was 12 or 11, so they better be here to stay. What can I say I was in Florida, I was at the beach, I was tan. There is a very beautiful picture of me. And then I decided to dye my hair blue. So obviously since I have brown hair, I had to bleach my hair to get to the blue color. I kind of did this behind my mom's back because <laughs> they said no. And honestly, they were right. And I was like, oh, I'm just gonna do it for Halloween. Don't worry, this one washes out. It did wash out, but I didn't tell them that I had to bleach my hair first. So this was actually kind of permanent. So this was the product. Can you guys start seeing like when everything starts going downhill because it's here. Glasses, braces, fried hair. Y'all see that pimple on my chin? I'm starting to get acne. Ooh. It only gets worse from here. I rate this era 4 out of 10. And then after that, we dyed it blue. By the way, my best friend at the time dyed my hair blue and bleached it. Honestly, she kind of snapped for what I gave her to work with. However, I didn't. I still love her. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Can you guys see the kick notification on the top? Do you guys remember that app? Because I would like not to. I would rate this a little bit higher because the blue is iconic and I low-key want to go back to blue. It's a cute color, but it's like it's one of those colors that's like you get it in a wig and that's it like you don't you don't keep that color on this is when i got it professionally fixed from this picture to uh, i want to say like august of this year i did not know that you had to blow dry your hair for it to look good because i actually have curly hair so i always thought that my hair was just like busted I just was not treating my hair right. It was like either you use curling products and you keep your hair curly or you're gonna blow it out every single day and style it if you wanna keep it straight. So I didn't know that you had to do all that and I was treating my hair like straight hair so it got really frizzy really fast. So that's gonna explain the whole hair situation in the following slides. So yeah, this picture is a slight upgrade. So I'm gonna give it like a six out of 10 rar because I was emo. And the next picture is when I kind of like cut the sides and I still had it blue on the top, but like now the sides were black. Okay, I actually think I look cute here. I think this is really cute. My skin was kind of clear. I have lips now. My hair actually looks good in this picture. I'm not even gonna front. This filter is very 2016, 2014. 
2018. I'm gonna rate this a seven out of 10. Mm. We're getting into very cringy territory, stop. This was before I started photoshopping my pictures and like learned what editing was. So my skin was like porcelain smooth. I am jealous to the core. But oh, baby, what is going on with your hair? Why was my nose so big? I really wanted silver hair because this is around like the time that like silver hair was like becoming popular. But as you can see, I don't have that. It just looks mucky. I don't like it. Four out of 10. No, three out of 10. That air was disgusting. Oh my God, there's another picture from this era. Oh my gosh. And this era is when I start becoming like full of myself and I start taking like selfies like, like put your tongue back in your mouth. I hate when people stick their tongues out in pictures and it makes me so angry that I used to do that stuff because it's just, <sighs> next slide. So after that, I went pink. Honestly, pastel pink hair slaps. I love this so much. But wait, this era gets attacked by my dad. I don't know why I couldn't just go to the hair salon for whatever reason, because she was there and all it cost it was $10. I have no idea why we cut my hair at home. I look like a troll. I remember my mom was so mad at my dad when he did this. <laughs> I cannot believe that I walked around for like two to four months like this. And I thought it was perfectly fine. And then with the glasses, I look like a star. Who was gonna tell him? Nobody told me, bro. Nobody told me. Also, I had a very prominent widow's peak. I don't know what happened there. My hairline actually came down because my hairline used to be like, not this nice. <laughs> but grateful, blessed. And then after that, here's the picture of me having a mental breakdown, you know, as you do when you're 15, 14. I don't even know how old I am here. Why did I take a picture of this? The Christmas tree in the back sends me. 10 out of 10 moment, probably the peak moment of my life. We stay on that moment. And then after that, I went pink again for Valentine's Day. And this is when I actually found out that my hair was curly. Wow, it only took me my entire lifetime. Okay, actually, no, let me not lie. So when I was younger, my hair was straight. And then around like 13, my my hair started getting really curly because that's the same thing that happened to my dad when he was younger. My mom has really straight hair and my dad has really curly hair. And my sister has like the most amazing curls ever and I did not get those. Or at least I don't know because my hair is really curly when I don't like style it. But like since I like style it every single day, I've kind of like ruined my texture. Who knows, I might go back to curly eventually. But yeah, okay, the curls made me look like a poodle and the pink was atrocious, two out of 10. I decided to let the pink come out of my hair. Oh, actually no, I bleached it out of my hair as one does because you know, you can't just let it fade out, you know? You have to ruin your hair again. This picture ain't half bad. Ditch the glasses and ditch the torn shirts. Do you guys remember when like distressed clothing was popular because of Kanye? Literally, who thought that was okay? I would literally cut up like all my clothing and it was a mess. Why was that considered fashion for a second? But um, overall, this picture without the stupid little like cuts and those ridiculous glasses, take those things off, girl. I would give this like an eight out of 10. This is probably the highest score that we have so far. Let's give it up for like Tumblr ho me. But once again, why is my nose so big? I didn't get nose surgery. Like when did that thing get like smaller? But it shrunk. This is fun, guys. I'm so sorry. After that, I decided to cut my hair, this time properly. We kind of snapped here. This is like the skinniest I ever was and my jawline was like I am so jealous of this era. Well, actually the era that's coming up after this because I was really happy. But right here, we're gonna give this like a seven out of 10 because I have really bad acne that made me really insecure. Ooh. So, okay, I would argue that this next phase is probably the best I've looked besides now. This is probably my, like, my peak moment when I was growing up. Look at my hair in this, exquisite. I look like a man. This was probably the most masculine I've ever looked in my life and it was hot. This was a nice phase. So I'm gonna give this a nine out of 10, probably the highest rating we're gonna get all night, but um, let's continue. Same era, look how clear my skin was and my hair was healthy, I was happy. I had friends, I had a relationship, I had good grades in school. I was so good. What happened? The Galaxy case, do you guys remember when that was popular? So we do stand this moment. Actually, I'll give this a 10 out of 10. After this, it goes downhill for a bit. This is when my skin got horrible. I will not disclose why. Many things happened this year that I just don't talk about. <laughs> and that led to me getting stressed 
acne and then I went to the dermatologist and I had gotten attacked with a whole bunch of medicine and that made my acne worse. Ooh. I was having an identity crisis. I didn't know what I wanted to be. So my brows were a mess. My skin was a mess. My hair was a mess. I had a facial hair and it was disgusting because I couldn't even grow the facial hair yet. It was just like fuzz. Ah. And now I can grow it, but now I don't want it. How the world changes. But this zone, I look like a mafia leader here. What the hell? <gasps> After this, I aged backwards. Period. We skipped like a year in this time frame. So that was before going homeless, and this is after going homeless and that is when i discovered colored contact lenses period so in this picture 10 out of 10 actually 11 out of 10 we look stunning talented brilliant original unique and never the same my hair is healthy because i actually shaved it off during this year i wish i had a picture but i don't this was the regrowth Iconic. I honestly look the same now, like when I don't have makeup, so we do stand. And then here's a picture of me in the same day with no contacts. Oh, you can actually see my curl pattern here. This is the healthiest my curl pattern has ever been because I let the regrowth just like grow. So that is like how curly my hair really is. But we will never see it. But yeah, my skin was clear. I had healthy hair. I looked okay. My cheekbones were nice. 10 out of 10. This is a video, but look how crystal clear my skin is. 12 out of 10. Period, period. I am jealous of this era. This was before I moved out here to Los Angeles and I was like faced with like adult issues. Ooh. So I had clear skin. And then I moved here and this is the actual only like makeup phase that I had that was like interesting. And why did I think those freckles were cute? Look at the nose contour. And that nose contour is not Photoshopped. I literally walked around with like a stripe on my nose. But my lips looked good though. And my eye shape did snap. But I remember I used to like bronze like the sides of my neck too because i remember that this was like after i stopped tanning so like all that like hispanic glow that i had was gone so i have to like force it back but like i don't care no more <laughs> so i'm just like i'm just pale now and i embrace it well that was all for today um this was a fun video honestly that was really fun to judge myself <laughs> Real talk here, obviously I skipped out on like a trillion phases because they just weren't as interesting, but I remember this being like such a big insecurity of mine because I was never the same person for longer. Well, I never am the same person for longer than like a week. <laughs> and it used to eat me up because like I felt like I didn't know who I was until I learned that is who I am. <laughs> like I am just the type of person who will constantly venture out and constantly try new things and just experimenting all the time. And I'm finally happy with that and I'm okay with that. And that is why I wore a darker lip today. Like I would have never done this before. And I'm venturing out because honestly, you only live once. So you better at least just try some things out and be happy in the moment. Cause like, that's the only way to live, duh. If there's a moral story, it's like, you should laugh at yourself and like, you know, you just like be able to laugh at things. Things shouldn't be so serious and you grow and you learn and you have fun with it. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys like my art, if you guys like my energy, please like, comment, and subscribe and follow me on my Instagram below. And also turn on my post notifications if you want them to be on because I've heard a lot of people in my comments saying that they don't see my videos when I post them. So be sure to do that if you are interested, no pressure. And I will see you guys in the future. Bye-bye. There is no montage because I'm not even done with this makeup and... This video is a random one. Yes. Enjoy XX. Run, baby, run. Don't ever look back.